Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB or Chris and today we're going to do a head shave with the leaf razor which you see here. This right I've been calling it a DE. It's actually not a DE but it does use three half DE blades. So technically I guess it does uh, make it a sort of DE but it doesn't have two edges like a typical uh, DE. It's actually a, a triple edge razor because there's three half blades in there. Uh, anyway, we're going to use the Ariana and Evans uh, Asian Plum by Sneaky Pete Charcalis. And he's not sneaky. Again, I want to mention that the only reason I said uh, Sneaky Pete is because there's a series on Amazon called Sneaky Pete. Pretty good series. But Peter is not sneaky that way, just to be, just to be clear. I just like calling him Sneaky Pete because it's fun. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. I posted the... Uh, the face shave earlier and now we're on to a head shave with the leaf and uh, this is inspired by uh, Chris from uh, another cut above I've been seeing his uh, head shaves with the leaf and he really gets fantastic results and so the last number of days I've been using the leaf razor as well and I have also been enjoying very good results so as you know you know, I am mostly have been using carts on my dome for the last three years. I do use these generally once a week and usually off camera. But uh, after watching Chris's video and how much he really likes the, the leaf for head shaving, I said, you know, if he likes it that much, I'm going to give it a go. And I've, I've been using it the last number of times and I have been enjoying some good results myself. So we're gonna do another head shave today with the leaf. And I will say again, for me, for my purposes, uh, I don't need a very thick lather. I don't really care for a thick lather. Um, everybody has their own lathering preferences. Mine, I just like to be a little bit thin, but adequate protection. That's what I'm really going for. So I don't care so much about it being a voluminous, uh, having a high volume or it being picturesque. I just wanted to do what I needed to do for shaving. That is my objective. And as I um, remind you every single time we do head shave videos, I remind you always be mindful of your ears. Last time I thought I nicked my ear, but I didn't. This, the leaf has these little metal tabs and that actually hit my ear, which made it feel like a nick, but it wasn't actually, fortunately. But please make sure you hold down those ears anytime you're going around them, because I have nicked my ears a number of times and it is no fun at all because they bleed a lot and almost any cut you get on your head bleeds a lot. And one thing that people don't realize is, you know, your cheeks, it's pretty fleshy and your neck is fleshy, other than over your Adam's apple, but on the head, there's not really, uh, a lot of it is not fleshy at all. It's a little thin skin right above bone. And for whatever reason, it bleeds a lot. And you cut it and it can be quite sensitive relative to your face. So you just have to treat it nicely and do what it asks you to do and be cautious of those ears. And then I think you'll, uh, you'll have a good shave, or at least that's the way I see it. And uh, I'm always, I tell myself I'm always cautious, but every now and then I become complacent and, uh, you know, get a little careless around the ears and then you'll quickly be reminded that the ears don't like to be nicked because then next thing you know, you have to go to your styptic pencil or whatever your preferred method is. Alum, if it's a, uh, if it's a little small weeper or something. Styptic, if it's a, a cut that's a little more stubborn and doesn't want to stop bleeding. By the way, this soap is terrific. Uh, someone told me they didn't like the scent. I can't remember who that was, but I like it. Um, I saw another guy on YouTube who did not like the soap at all, and I was surprised. He didn't get a lot of scent out of it either, but I really like this soap. It's one of the, I don't know if it's one of, 
I, I really don't know at what which release this was, but this was a, I think a relatively early release for Ariane Evans, but or at least you know Peter making his creating his actual own bass and all that, as I remember. But then again, it's been a while, and I've been known to forget things, so forgive me if I'm making a mistake there. But it does a terrific job, and uh, I really enjoy the Asian Plum scent. And I've been seeing the Asian pear, and I'm like, oh, Pete's going to cost me money again, you know. Uh, Pete makes good products. If you've never tried Ariana and Evans, uh, he's also got Shaving Shop branded, or Shaving Shop Club. There's a lot of stuff going on at Shaving Shop. So check it. You know, you can Google Ariana and Evans. You can Google the Shaving Shop Club. There's so many different things branding-wise going on there. Sometimes I get confused so there's a lot of uh, interesting branding that goes on in this hobby. It's, and sometimes it's, it's confusing. Like they open a company, then they start a different brand. Like kind of like Italian Barber will sometimes have Italian Barber branded things. And then other times it's Razor Rock. And, you know, again, us non-marketing people, you know, we're like, uh, what's going on with that? You know, make it one or the other. But, you know, they have their own reasons for doing so. And I don't know what they are because I'm obviously not in the business. I'm just in the business of buying and using. And uh, that is where my expertise stops, using the products. I have had a lot of experience, obviously, with many different soaps, razors, and so on and so forth, but I'm not an expert in the marketing of uh, the shaving wares. So I really can't speak intelligently on that, so I should probably just shut up about it, which is sometimes difficult for me to do. Okay, let's rinse there. That was nice and comfortable. The leaf is the closest. I'm gonna get a little more soap out of here and put some of this on my head actually. And it's, the leaf is the uh, closest approximation from my perspective to a cart in the way that it pivots. And the pivot does help on the head and I've mentioned this before. It is no joke, it is helpful. It pivots. It's also got a bit of a longer handle, which is okay for me for, for head shavers. I don't really like it for face shaving so much. Uh, it pivots and also, you know, it's got multiple blades. And some people don't like multiple blades, but uh, in this razor, I happen to think it works quite well. Some people only use two. You don't have to use three. I use three. That's just kind of the way the razor comes. Or I figure I'm going to go with, you know, however the, the razor is sort of marketed, generally speaking. And so that's the way I do it. You certainly don't have to. I need to load a little bit more. I just didn't get enough. Um, I'm so cautious about getting moisture in my soaps that I didn't wet the brush enough to get it actually loaded. And so let's see if we can get a little more soap out there. So we can make sure we get that protective layer that I need. And that's really all that is required. It is not, you know, a lot is made about lathering and the way lathering looks. But the most important thing is, is that layer of protection. That is, I like to watch the guys who make uh, Chris, you know, again, mentioning him because it's relevant. Uh, he likes to spend a lot of time lathering. Jack from the virtual groom room likes to spend a lot of time lathering and they make very picturesque and voluminous lathers, the kind that you would want, you know, on a promotional video or something like that. And uh, they just enjoy doing it. And it is fun. But for me, um, I, I try and I don't always succeed. I, ended up t I end up talking and extending the length of the videos um, when I don't really intend to. But I try not to do too much of it. But sometimes I do anyway. And the video still ends up being 25 minutes long, which I really don't want to do. But it just ends up happening. And so... Anyway, what I'm trying to get across is I try not to spend too much time lathering. I just want to get the lather that, that's going to work for my shave. And once I get that, I'm happy with it. And so I guarantee you this protection here is more than adequate. It is more than adequate. It will do everything I need it to do because it is a slick soap. It has good residual slickness. The gentleman who didn't like it, I think it was New York Shaving. And I'm sorry if I'm forgetting your name. Um... He just didn't like it. And, uh, you know, sometimes you'll have that. But I do like it. And it's, you know, this really is when it comes to products. Uh, your mileage may vary. 
I know some people are dismiss dismissive of that, uh, you know, acronym, if you will. But it is true. There's just, there, there's no way everybody can like everything. But I think the Ariane and Evans products are quite good. And Peter has uh, certainly spent a lot of time, you know, improving his products from the time he first started. And uh, I was... Uh, in the initial testing when he was making his own soaps and you know he would send it without a lot of information and he was just having people give feedback and you know it was pretty good from the start really i think he got off to a strong start and uh i'm not sure who who all he leaned on i got way down that time i must say my friend. people sometimes say are you worried about doing it no i'm not but that time i really Got busy talking and wasn't paying attention. But um, anyway, I'm sure he leaned on the likes of Chris Cullen and others that, you know, obviously I'm not mentioning this this second, but uh, just because I don't know who they are. But um, he definitely has been making a, a good soap. And he's bringing a lot of different products to the market, you know, serums. And I'm not much into the the serum and skin food thing. It's just, it's nothing that I'm crazy interested in. I don't really need it for my skin. Um, a lot of people really are, and so I don't knock any of those products, but I'm I'm not so much a post, I don't use bombs, I don't like them. I like a good alcohol-based aftershave and it, may, it leaves my face feeling the way I want it to, not greasy or oily or anything like that. And that's just what I prefer. I don't shine my head up. It will naturally shine, you know, um, within, you know, after I dry off within an hour or two, that natural gloss is there. So I don't put any, any sort of product to make it shine. Now you ha you can use something like head lube from uh, head blade and it will, they have glossy and matte finishes and it will help if you want that shine, but you usually have oils in your skin that will produce it on its own, or at least I do. And so that works quite well for me. So I don't add any sort of balms or additional creams, lotions, nothing. It's not for me. Um, but I do not ever knock anybody else for doing so because you need to use whatever works best for your skin. And I have found that those products really don't do much for me. Things turn out the same regardless, pretty much. We're gonna get over a tough spot right here that's always a little hard to to get. Just a few little touch-ups and then we are golden. All right, another smooth head shave. No cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, troubles. You can't argue with that, people. You can't argue with that. The leaf does a great job once again. And as I develop more conf confidence with this, I can tell you, it's gonna be a daily driver. Let me rinse off the dome. We'll come back and close out with an aftershave. Stay tuned. And all right, we're back with the magic made by Witches Thayers. And I said before, all I need is an aftershave. I actually used the Witch Hazel first. And I let it set for just a second. And then I go with my uh, aftershave. And today's aftershave, it doesn't smell anything like the soap. And this soap really won't hang around. So there won't be any clashing. It's St. Patrick's Day, so we're gonna stick with what we used for our face, which is the PAA Irish Springs. Before we get to that, let's talk a little bit about the products used today. Ariane and Evans Asian Plum. If you like plum scent, it's very nice. Someone told me they didn't like it because it smelled like they thought bubble gum. I like the scent, a lot of people do. I can't guarantee that you will, but it is a high quality soap. I like it a lot. We also use the Ariana and Evans synthetic brush, which I really like a lot. And I'm really liking these long handled um, synthetics like this. Value synthetic brush makers. More of these with this sort of rubber set-ish handle style, really, really good. It really helps, especially if you're gonna load from a deep container or even if you wanna make a bowl lather. The leaf, it hit the spot again. Chris from another cut above, he's got it right. When it comes to head shaving, this razor right here with the three half DE blades, I think does a terrific job. It works extremely well for me. I'm really enjoying it. I think it will become my daily driver. Last but not least, our uh, Phoenix 
Irish Spring, Irish Springs, plural, because it is St. Patrick's Day, and uh, we're we're feeling it. And so we're gonna go get a little Irish Spring, which smells like the, oh yeah, that feels good. It smells like the uh, Irish Spring Bar Soap, but this one is uh, Irish Springs, and oh yeah. The head feels terrific, super smooth, no nicks. Again, no nicks, cuts, weepers, creepers, irritation, bubbles, troubles. You gotta love that. You gotta love that. So we will call it a great head shave. I wanna thank all the head shavers out there. I wanna thank all the shavers out there everywhere. And we welcome you to join us in this community, by the way. Until next time, I wanna remind you, it's your shave, do it your way, and God bless.